So hi guys, kan nag mo morning bike ni lang tayo. Kasi yung mainit. Ah, just go. Alam niyo ba ano masarap kapag ganitong mainit na panahon? Ano? What is up guys? We're here again tasting some good Filipino food here in Denmark. Today it's quite a special one. We are tasting some ice cream from our friends from Favorite East. Again, as usual, here is their Facebook and here is their website. You can check them out and see what they have in store. But for us, we will check these out. So these are handmade um, made to order ice cream that they do. Um, they are it's not their main job, I would say, um, to make these as the owner said. Um, so it's a passion project. And you know, when passion is involved, then it's very passionate. <laughs> By hand. Okay, um, let's try some flavors that they have. Oh, okay. actually, first, uh, let's go through what we have. Uh, they sent some ice cream on stick and some ice cream sandwiches. And they also uh gave some tubs of ice cream well uh i actually tasted some already if you watch the video of Ree's birthday they also gave us an ice cream cake which was really good it was uh cookies and cream or oreo i really love the ice cream of course it, it's the ice cream, I think, is more on the creamier side of things. Ano masasabi mo sa ice cream? Ah, okay. It's very creamy siya and very thick and solid. Baka pops, bumili na kayo. And also, I love the crust of their um, ice cream cake, the chocolate one. It was like a brownie or something. Let's start tasting because this is gonna melt too. Let's start out with the ice cream on stick this is strawberry flavor mm. it's fruity <laughs> Bayan. you can taste the fresh strawberries and there are bits there it doesn't give that medicine taste of like some strawberry ice cream. So if you read the, the tag on their ice cream, it says it's Lecker Handel I Italian's Gelato Meldaily Frisk Yorbe or Smoked Stuka. I think it means delicious handmade Italian gelato with daily with good fresh strawberries and small pieces Ouch. one flavor down my cheek next this is a flavor that I've been looking for here and um, this is queso or cheese I think the the ice cream sticks actually they're also the same ice cream in the sandwich and in the, the tub version so we'll try and taste as much as we can in Denmark they're not so how would you say adventures when it comes to flavor so 
cheese ice cream might not be a thing for them. I tried looking for it, but didn't find anything. But if you know something, leave down in the comments and I'll check it out. So it gives off a very strong taste of cheddar. There are like bits of cheddar as well, well, chunks of cheddar. I would even go as far as getting some bread and putting this in the bread and eating it. Like the ice cream sandwich of the, in the Philippines you have this thing called dirty ice cream. This would be perfect for that. It's not sweet at all. Oh my god. Amazing. Magic. Next we'll taste avocado. I'll put down the pricing here. Per uh, stick, it's but I think it's really okay for the price. I think it's a bit bland. You can... You get that avocado feeling in your mouth, but you can't really taste it. It's not too sweet as well, which some people like, I think. But yeah, for me, if I wanted ice cream or gelato, I want that that sweet kick sometimes, uh, which is something that's missing here. But if you want it, if you want that avocado feeling in your mouth, this is this gives you that. Now let's move on to the ice cream sandwiches. We have. Queso sandwich and ube sandwich. We actually got, we ordered some more and we actually tasted them already. Yeah, so that's why there's only two left. But, but for this one, I'll try the uh, ube sandwich just because I we already tasted queso earlier. It's a bit melted already. Maybe the light or something. Mm. Ubi ice cream is bomb. The bread part, it's like a, a waffle cone, but it's a bit thicker. And if you put it on like ice cream for a long time, it becomes a bit soggy, but then you freeze it again. This is it. So it absorbed the flavor of the ice cream already. The ice cream itself is really good. This is also the ice cream that's on the Halo Halo of uh, Sweet Bites. And I think when I went there, I actually saw this already. But since I was commuting, I couldn't really bring the ice cream from one end of the city to the other. Done. So like I said, we also have a, a queso version. All the ice cream that's, that have stick version also have sandwich versions and of course a tub version. Um, I won't try this anymore because I already tried the stick version. If I had to rank the flavors right now, my number one would be queso. Next would be Ube 
and then strawberry and last is avocado okay it's too much sugar for one night so we'll take the the tubs tomorrow see you Okay, it's not exactly the next day, but tomorrow we're going to have a barbecue outside and we're going to share this with our cabaran that is here. But before I do that, I gotta taste them all for the vlog. Um, I have teaspoons here because yeah, I'm a, we will share this tomorrow with our friends. Um, that's why we need to keep it clean, y'all. Actually, some of these we already had like a picnic the other <laughs> weekend. Bird. Bird. And we shared some of these already. Some clips here. Yeah, but some of the. I didn't taste all of the flavors. Um taste them now these are I just picked the flavors that do not that were not in the sticks and the sandwich that we got so we have citron uh, which is lemon mango which is something I'm looking forward to I haven't tasted it at all Mahapuno, which is when I saw the list of flavors and I saw Mahapuno, boom Craving. Yeah. Um, but last is Oreo. There's also Rocky Road. But sorry, guys, I already finished it. It was my favorite. Well, I would still go for the cheese, but yeah, it's up there. Let's start with Oreo. Everyone's favorite. Cookies and cream. So for my neighbors watching this, I did not double dip. So you have the Oreo bits and the ice cream, of course. This is the flavor of the cake that we got, that they gave us. I really like it. I wish it had that base I was talking about but hey you can't go wrong with cookies and cream move on to this one <coughs> we will go for mahapuno next mahapuno. So good guys. I wish I could double dip but mm. legit mahapuno flavor. I don't know how to describe it. I don't even know if mahapuno is a fruit but yeah oh paste let's just read the description and yeah, it's handmade as well. Italian gelato, mahapuno with taste of cocos. Yeah, eh, coconut. Mmm, then it's mango. That's the English. Citron first. We'll get rid of this one. Oh my god, Jollibee. Bayan. Oh well, I will place the old one with this one. San sani sanitary requirements. To show the camera. 
focus. Don't focus on me. Relax. Sit up. I feel. Hmm. Yeah. It, you have that lemon. Mm -hmm. Lemon cake and lemon aftertaste. It's a good way to cleanse the palate. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's also sweet. Like, it's sweet. And I wasn't expecting that, but yeah, it's a. The sourness is perfect, but the sweetness is a bit too much. So now we move on to the big boy. This is the one liter version. Uh, you can buy from them in half liters, half liter uh, tubs, one liter tubs, and then the next one is a five liter tub. Um, the prices will be here. Let's move on to this one. Mango. Mango. Mmm. Bango. I could sniff this all day. Mmm. I'm just a bit scared because I have not tasted like a sweet mango here ever since I moved to Copenhagen. It's usually sour. I hope it's not sour. I'm thinking of the velvety mango, sweet mango of the Philippines. But here it is mango. Double dip, but I like it. This would be my number four. When you bite into it, there's the it's not super strong mango taste, so the sensei it has a sensation, guys. You can smell it, in <laughs> you can smell it even if you're, it goes in your mouth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, it's smooth. It's not too strong. I just don't know what this thing at the bottom is. Like there's a layer that's formed. Maybe I should mix that in. But how do I do that? I guess it, it melted and then we froze it afterwards. I, I don't know. Maybe that plays a role. But I think for the fruity flavors, this would be just below strawberry. So I would go for fruit, I would go strawberry, mango, citron, avocado. Sorry, avocado. But I'm not on keto anymore, obviously. Overall, my top three would be queso, macapuno, mango, and rakiroli. So there you have it guys. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Also visit Tavern East on Facebook. If you find them in the grocery, they also distribute to some stores. You can buy them at Chindahan. Uh, Chindahan. 
uh, sweet bites as well. Um, by the Halo Halo sweet bites, you're also going to taste a bird is got to bite, but two birds with one stone. Alright, thank you for watching. See you on the next vlog. Bye!